growing up, my dad would take me to the cinema a lot, so that's where my like love of film came from. Through Moving Image Arts, I learned that you don't need to have rich parents and lots of connections to pursue a career in film. I mean, it's other filmmakers really, especially in the Northwest now, that's really inspired me to sort of um, go on and know that you can be really successful. I was chatting recently to Saoirse Monica Jackson from Derry Girls, um, and, and she was speaking mad about, you know, the amount of opportunities here in the Northwest uh, and for someone like me, and I just find that really inspiring. When I was starting out, uh, very little of an industry here in Ireland. And when I turned 18 and I wanted to go to uni, I would tell my friends that I, I was going to go to uni and make, you know, learn to make films. I wanted to be a filmmaker. You got looked at like you were mad, like there was something wrong with <laughs> you, screw loose because it wasn't the dumb thing. We were very, when, when I was at university, we were very enamoured by the Dogma 95 Manifesto. And the Dogma 95 Manifesto was like a call to arms for people like me because it was an acknowledgement that the work that we could afford to do yeah. was valid, you know. The main advantage to working in the film business is just that, it's that you're working in the film business. Mm. So if you actually enjoy what you do for a living, you don't really work. Even when you're knackered, it's not work. I think it's, you know, it's really how hands on it is. Um, you know, the fact that you don't really have a set office and that, you know, your, your, your workspace is sort of different every time. So, and I mean, especially here at university, you know, it's, it's so practical and hands on and that, that's just the best way to learn, I think, um, going in with the film industry. I think the main con of the film industry is that um, systemic sexism is very deep rooted in the film industry, it's, uh, specifically in Hollywood. Recently with the whole like Me Too movement and uh, the Harvey Weinstein case, I don't know, it's a, kind of a bit scary to be a woman in the film industry. Hopefully in the future it will be better, but like there's still a long way to go before there's any sort of semblance of equality. It's very important to know how to be on a set and really, you really need to be uh, Johnny on the spot as the Americans say. You need to learn by watching as much as learning by doing. Starting out now there is no substitute for hard work and patience. Patience is key really because things are not going to happen overnight. Young people cannot feel entitled to success in that industry. You have to earn it. When you know, once you know what it is you want to do, practice, practice, practice. If you want to be a camera person, for example, don't wait until someone asks you to shoot their film. Just get a camera and go out and start filming trees. Go out and start filming rivers. Start filming cars going up streets. Film anything. I remember Robert De Niro one time in an interview many years ago. And he still says this, if you're good enough at something, you will eventually make a living at it. It doesn't actually matter what it is. I would say my end goal would be to be a director and I would like to produce films both in English and in Irish. I'm really passionate about the promotion of the Irish language. And I feel like now is the right time, especially with a lot of foreign films have become more popular. Hope to become a filmmaker, um, and I know especially now that that is possible, um, and really with hard work, that, that might, that's the ultimate goal really, to uh, become a filmmaker. I had a guy in Los Angeles email me out of the blue about a year and a half ago now. Uh, about a short I did a number of years ago called a short film about fear and he emailed me randomly saying that he saw this film he came across my email address realized I was the guy that made it and he was absolutely buzzing because he loved he absolutely loved it and he was dying to show it to his child who was being uh, bullied he wanted to show it to his kid I've kept that email <laughs> just when you know that people are liking your work, you know, that's, that's all the reward you need.